From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. While in Berlin yesterday for a forum for female leaders hosted by German Chancellor Angela Merkel, Ivanka Trump praised her father for being a tremendous champion of supporting families. As she was saying this, members of the panel's audience booed and hissed. And that, grandchildren, is how Germany started the Third World War. Federal authorities have announced nearly two dozen safety violations issued to an auto parts manufacturer after a bride-to-be who worked at its Alabama plant was crushed to death by a robotic machine. It probably had something to do with her being named Sarah Connor. Congressional Republicans are floating a spending deal to keep the government going that does not include funding for President Trump's southern border wall. But, Mr. President, you're welcome to take 20 bucks out of that budget to buy yourself a copy of Pink Floyd's The Wall. It'll blow your mind, dude! If the government does shut down on Saturday, it will coincide with President Trump's 100th day in office. I will let you interpret that however you wish. Ontario Canada has launched a guaranteed income program that will pay people a minimum of $12,600 a year. Boy, that could put a dent in the standing by the freeway off-ramp with a sign industry. Even if you feel alert and think you're getting enough sleep, constant yawning clues you in that you're probably sleep-deprived, says Lisa Shives, MD, a sleep medicine specialist in Evanston, Illinois. You're likely getting poor quality sleep from waking often in the middle of the night or not achieving deep sleep, she says. But either that or life is just really boring. The United Airlines flight had to make an emergency landing after one of its engines overheated. Fortunately, all the passengers were dragged out of the plane safely. The attorney for the United Airlines dragged passenger is now representing the woman in the stroller incident on American Airlines. Talk about a niche industry! Andrew Taylor was sick and tired of being sick and tired. In 2015, the Melbourne, Australia man was clinically depressed, suffered from anxiety, and weighed over 300 pounds. On January 1st of last year, he began his journey to change all of that by making one simple choice – to eat nothing but potatoes for one year. Today, he weighs in just over 200 pounds. For every day since the beginning of the potato diet, Taylor has only eaten mashed, boiled, and baked potatoes morning, noon, and night. Potato chips and french fries were not allowed. Oh. Well, then forget it. A survey says Wi-Fi in the home is more important to people than having clean underwear. Which begs the question, why can't we just have both, please? Facebook users will be warned before sharing a story that's actually fake news. The social media giant says it's working with fact-checking groups to identify bogus stories and to warn users if the story they're trying to share has been reported as fake. Our condolences on the soon-coming demise of The Onion and MSNBC. A Dutch restaurant whose name translates to The Unwanted Animal Kitchen is now offering the My Little Pony Burger. You guessed it, the patty itself is made from the meat of butchered, aging horses that have worked at a local amusement park. So would you eat a horse burger? What do you think? Yay or nay? If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. And if you're already an official weirdo, please share this video with your friends. Be sure to join me for my first official live chat on YouTube. It's coming up Saturday, May 6th, 3 p.m. Central Time. That's 4 p.m. Eastern or 1 p.m. Pacific. We'll do a Q&A, I'll have a giveaway or two, and I might even tell a weird darkness story during the broadcast. That's Saturday, May 6th. Hope you can join me. For more weird news anytime, visit DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!